In this video, I'll show you how you configure your project so that it can be downloaded and also so that it will print messages here in the console. Um, the project that you're going to be using throughout the semester is this one. And even though you're going to write several programs that are contained in here, they'll all be contained within one project. You'll just compile one of them at a time. This step is really important. Make sure that it is selected, that you've clicked it. Once you've clicked this project, then you can right-click, go down Find Run As, and Run Configurations. Once you're there, go to the bottom and double-click this line. This will bring up a configuration dialog where you can set things up. All the defaults are fine for what you're going to be doing except for this one, which is the STDIO connection. The STDIO connection makes it so that when you do print F or scan F in C, that that input shows up in this console window, so it's quite convenient. So click that. Click the box that says connect standard I.O. to console, and then pick one of the COM ports. Now you'll usually be presented with a number of options here. You'll usually get COM1 and JTAG UART, and there may be others as well. Um, yours probably won't be COM25. It'll be COM17, 19, 11. It'll be some number. But select, and, and it may change as you go from workstation to workstation. It may be different. I have no control over that because it has to do with the actual hardware that's on these boards. Um, so you may have to change this from time to time. Um, so in my case, COM25 is correct. Set the baud rate to be 115,200. Hit apply and close. At this point, we've set up um, a, an environment, what they call a configuration, for uh, running our program. Once you've done that, all you need to do is click this button that looks, this green button looks like play, and hit it, and what it'll do is it'll say launching your program. And you can see it gives you a progress bar, and mine usually goes to about 44%, uh, and then it just completes. And if we've done everything right, We'll see that Hello World shows up there. Just by way of review, this is for this program here, this main.c. And the Hello World here is a result of this printf statement and us setting that standard I.O. in the configuration so that it prints it here. If you look down at the LCD display on your board, you'll also see that it says Hello World on the LCD written in red. So at this point, you'll have, if you've done all of these the four videos so far, you've um, configured your directories. You've extracted the class software and imported it into the SDK. You've downloaded a bitstream to the FPGA, and you've downloaded and actually run a program on the FPGA. So now you're ready to go. So I'm looking forward to a fun semester of 3.30 with you.